So I'm here with this new to me Eliclave IPS digital microscope. I've used a bunch of these digital microscopes in the past and I've shown them on this channel and on one of my other channels. And I really like them, but this one appealed to me because it has the desk clamp. So I don't need the big bulky base and you know, I, I, I can swing it where I want, swing it out of my way. So let me get this out of the box. Let's see how it does on this folding table. There's a nice solid lip on it, so it should be good. And yeah, let's take a look at it. We'll get some stuff out, maybe some stamps. I'll see if I have a PCB laying around. Uh, who knows what we'll look at. Maybe we'll look at one of my fitness tracker rings and kind of look at the circuitry on that. It does have a seven inch screen. The screen's not too bad. I do like it. They claim it's 3K resolution. Uh, it'll do a 38 megapixel photo capture. Uh, it is an IPS screen. And as far as these things go, I've had four or five of these now, and the screens are all pretty much the same. This one's just as good as any of the others. It does have HDMI out. That's also pretty standard in these. It comes with an HDI, HDMI mini to HDMI cable. So you can do that. And you can do USB output too, so you can capture on the computer if you wanted. Or talking about cables, um, you can kind of see here, I got the cables going everywhere. They have these clips that come on it and they have the channel on the top. So you, you route the cables, but I'm just putting this right back into the box when I'm done because um, I, I need access to my television and table. So you would put that there and route the cables through. I actually like that. The others don't and I've had to like Velcro stuff and this just, this is really nice. It's got the flex arm stand, you know, it's all right. Um, I've got it as tight as I can comfortably get it on the table and it still wants to wibble wobble when I move. Some of that's just because this is a flimsy plastic table. But, you know, it does move and I can move my stuff around. But if I needed it out of the way and then, you know, let's get that back in there. Uh, it does have that ring light that I was talking about. Ideally, you would mount it a little better. It doesn't really want to sit on there. I think that's because it's supposed to mount underside. The instructions weren't very clear. The instructions weren't clear on a lot of things. But to assemble it, there's a screw in this. You take it out. You then um, unwind the clamp a bunch. You connect that to the plastic ring base. You put the screw back in, tighten it down. Then you came over here and you put that on. You put the arm that's holding this in and then you dropped it in, put the lens back on and you're pretty much ready to go, two cables. I do have this plugged into a USB battery bank that tells me the wattage draw with the light on and the screen and everything on. I'm drawing seven watts right now, so that's pretty cool. Go ahead and turn the light off. It drops down to two watts, one watt, two watts. So it's gonna hang out about two watts. The light adds another five. That's at the highest setting. Obviously you can turn it down and get that a little lower. But at the highest setting, yeah, I mean, you're drawing seven watts. That's actually pretty impressive. It does come with a solder mat, uh, you know, just one of these blue jobs. Um, where we've jumped around a little, camera angle's probably gonna be a little bit different. I fixed the ring light. I had it on a different way. So, I'm not the biggest fan of this ring light. Like it works great, but it's way too like taut and it wants to slide everything around. So keep that in mind. Um, you might just want to have a handheld light source or something. I'm not thrilled with the way it mounts and how stiff this is and everything. It'd have been nicer if the light had been integrated into the thing. So it also kind of gets in the way here of your focus here which is a little annoying. I'll also say this is drawing five watts and it's getting really hot um, all around. So right now we are on that uh, wide lens, which it says is great for like coin collecting and stuff. Let us see if we can now get down in here on some text. We'll just pop that off. Again, they're magnetic. Go ahead and take that lens cap off. Put that on there. And find some text. Yeah. So yeah, no, I'm uh, I'm really happy with this thing. This is just kind of clunky the way this attaches. Uh, I wish it was a little bit different. The welds are really ugly up here. So if that's gonna bother you to look at all the time, then, you know, like that, that is the ugliest weld I've ever seen. I'm not even gonna show it to you. So it does have the micro SD so you can record to SD. You would just, uh, where's the remote? It does come with a remote, if I can find it. So basic, simple remote, you know, you've got your take a picture button. That is really nice, just being able to move that around. Uh, I think I'm going to like this. But yeah, normal, you get your power, all this stuff, menu, 
So let me pull the battery thing out. So you get your menu, you can you know change some stuff in there, and then I can have it capture a photo. It just captured a photo, or I can tell it to take video, and it is now recording. That'll go to the SD card. It also has a the HDMI out. I think I covered that already, and then it even has a five volt output. So you could in theory go ahead and charge that light, or not charge the light, but power the light from the back of this instead of having to have it go on its own thing. Right now I just have it going into an EgroTech uh, power pack and I'm pulling both of those off because I wanted to see the wattage and that power station lets me know the watt draws and it's seven watts with that light on. But yeah, it's pretty cool. You've definitely got your two different focal length lenses. I wish I had a third lens, sometimes they do, but I, I feel like you've got quite a bit of range here. Let me sit down. And let's try to take a look at the circuit in this ring. Let me make sure you can see everything. I'm going to bring you in a little bit closer here. Obviously, I could capture some video or whatever, but I'm just going to show you exactly what is on the screen because I think that 95% of people that are using this are just going to use the screen. Maybe record the footage just as a like fail-safe backup if you can't figure out where a part goes so let me try to get in here okay now ah uh, that is awesome this is my new favorite microscope guys I also clearly need to clean this ring this is my uh, ultra human as you can see right there let's flip it around it's my ultra human air ring little fitness tracker ring. Okay, there we go. You can see all the little components, the little optical sensor there that like, checks your heart rate. Uh, presumably that's the Bluetooth antenna, I would assume. But yeah, you can see like here on this very small ring, um, let me show you there, you can you can see that, and we can just come right in there. Let's take a look at this other one that I've been testing. Uh, this one is called the Luna Ring. Same kind of deal, but I haven't looked at it under a scope yet. There we go. Oh, nice. I didn't even notice it said the size there. Same kind of deal, uh, except I've only been wearing this one for three days. So you've got, apparently this is your Bluetooth over here. Get that little optical sensor, another little sensor. Pretty cool. Uh, yeah, when I start repairing some PlayStations, I have PlayStation 1s. I think this is going to be really nice. Let's look at my skin. Let me zoom out a little bit. Oh, there we go. Oh, wow, look how dry the side of my finger is. That's, uh, that's something. So, guys, yeah, I really like this thing. Um, just remember, you know, you're doing your primary focus here, although you can bring this up and down to some extent. Um, so if you were trying to fit something big under here. Also, this, uh, let me bring you up just a little. Oops. So up here, this is the rod that holds this. You can either orient it the way I have it, or you can do it the other way if you have something really big, which is nice because you can't adjust the arm at all, like up and down. So you would do that there. And yeah, other than like the ugly weld and the rigidity of the ring light cable, I'm like really, really satisfied with this thing. Let's look at something else real quick. What can we look at? Um, I got a coaster that might be interesting. Let's see. It's pretty much in focus already. Uh, a former coworker gave me these coasters for Christmas the last year we worked together, and they're just really cool. Yeah, that is just so cool. Anyway, that's been the Elecliv. I'll have a link to this model in the sticky comment. Um, I really like the arm on this thing. There, there, there's a few things I would do different in the design of it maybe, but I, it's going to work for like 95% of people. Um, I'm going to be completely happy with it. I'll just set it in a corner or something when I'm not using it. And then when I need it, I'll just go ahead and pop the arm onto the table and things will be good to go. So yeah, 
I'll see you guys in the next video.